Solwete Omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Dynamite. In the last episode, we beat the Fossil Challenge. Or at least one version of it, that is. Because there are two different ones, Strategic and Panic, and we only beat the Strategic Mode. So, now it's time to start on the Panic Mode. Same number of levels as Strategic, but the levels are actually slightly different in this one, so I figured we'd better go through all of these as well. Now, I personally find strategic mode to be a lot easier, but... No, whatever floats your boat, really. There is an important difference with panic mode. The basic principle is the same. You try to make the fossil fragment fall, as you can see here. But... These eggs up here? Now, they actually move. See them slowly creeping downward? Yeah. That's the thing about panic mode is the eggs actually move, and needless to say, that means you have much less time to complete the levels. Also, every time Crony's timer runs out of time, they speed up. In this case, the level gives you 20 seconds per cycle of Crony's timer, and the eggs move at approximately a starting rate of about 16 seconds per row. And wow, that was a big bonus after getting the fossil down. Also, you might notice we only have three colors here. That is one small mercy you're given with panic mode, is that the level designs are slightly easier than they are in strategic. Like, remember we started with four colors in strategic mode. Also, that one only gave us 15 seconds between cycles and 15 seconds... or a speed of about 15 seconds per row for the eggs. Fragment number three... Now we're back to four colors, and we have a space filler pattern. And, like the first fragment, this one has about 20 seconds per cycle, and a speed of about 16 seconds per row. And I'm not doing so well at this one. Fortunately, this fragment is really tiny. Yeah, it's easy enough now, but... This is panic mode, and it will, believe me, make you panic later on. In fact, it makes me panic even in some of the earlier levels. Oh yeah, and if Crony's timer runs out more than once... Oh, I... wow, really? Am I... Am I seriously gonna lose the freaking third Cambrian? Alright, give me a yellow... That was way too freaking close. I can't believe I did that badly on that one. <laughs> See why they call it panic mode? Holy crap. But moving on to the first Permian fossil, we're back to four egg colors. And we get 30 seconds per cycle in this one, but the eggs are moving at a rate of only about 12 seconds per row. Fortunately, that arrangement was pretty easy to deal with. Continuing to the, continuing to the next one, once again, 30 seconds per cycle, and about 12 seconds per row as far as speed goes. But of course, we have a few more eggs to get out of the way for this one. Yeah, Inchi pretty much summed it up in the tutorial. He wasn't kidding about the... Well, actually, I guess the description of the mode wasn't kidding about the pace being faster. Fragment number three, and this one's shaped completely differently with the trapezoid kind of thing. And we only get 20 seconds per cycle on this one. Still 12 seconds per row, though. Ah, uh, almost. I'm, running out. I'm gonna have to show what happens when you get a dynamite combo in fossil mode at some point. If I don't get one during the show-off of panic mode, anyway. Okay, we got a brachiopod. Two fossils complete, and... I'm actually going to save here, because even though it's still very, very early in the game, it's panic mode. So, yeah. I will see you back at, or back when we start the third fossil. Okay, moving on to the third fossil. The second Cambrian fossil, fragment number one. It pretty much looks the same as the one from strategic mode, the version of this level, I mean. We still have four colors, so I think the original one actually gave you a fifth. Oh, yeah. 
There, the strategic mode one gave you a fifth color in the form of your first egg or something like that. I never quite got the mechanics of that. But this one's actually probably easier than the previous one because you actually get a full 32 seconds per cycle in this one and I believe the speed is about 18 or so seconds per row. Really need a blue one. Yeah, getting color screwed with only four colors. Let's see what happens when we're up to seven or eight, shall we? But, fragment number two, and now we're back to five colors. But, at least we get 45 seconds per cycle on this one. The speed is about 17 seconds per row, it's hard to tell exactly. 17, 18, somewhere in there. So yeah, this is where my ability to not aim very well is really going to come back to bite me. Because you do not have time to waste in panic mode on missing your shots. Especially in the later levels. Yeah, there you see. But, okay, we're done with that one. Fragment number three. It's a little close to the bottom, but we will manage. We have 40 seconds per cycle on this one, and again, the speed is about 17 or 18 seconds per row. Can't really do much with yellow right now, or purple. Yes, bonus baby, please. Mind you, being in panic mode doesn't make the bonuses you get any less lame. Wait, I didn't realize that was connected. Alright, I will take that. And on to the fourth fossil. And remember the difficulty spike that happened at the second Permian fossil in strategic mode? Well, it's even worse in panic. Because we only, the eggs were moving at a rate of only about 10 seconds per row in this one. True, we get 40 seconds per cycle, but chances are, if you haven't cleared the fossil by the time Cronus timer turns over for the first time, you've probably either already lost, or you will Im imminently do so. So, still only four colors, but you really need to hurry on these in this one. Oh yeah, and of course, having the eggs constantly changing their position slightly does not help the aiming issues in the slightest. Really need a green, not blue, not red. See, perfect example right there. That, wow, 35, 20 points, that was a lot. But yeah, you see why I don't like panic mode? Even as early as the fourth fossil, it starts getting nerve-wracking. Oh, also, we, I don't remember if I said that we got 45 seconds per cycle on that one. And now we're up to... Well, now it's a little slower. We, we get 45 seconds per cycle and about... 16 seconds per row for speed. But now we have a fifth color to contend with, so. Uh, panic mode. Like I said before, they don't call it panic mode for nothing. Because if you're the type who gets anxious over video games, you probably won't like this mode. Okay, we got a crinoid, the only plant fossil in here, which is kind of odd. And yes, we are gonna save. Because that one was way too hard for where it is in the game. So, we've completed four fossils once again, and I will see you in the next episode. When we panic even more!